precautions. Yes. Sani ni nyamia sebnitia. Sani o follow instructions. Okay, but you are not only a cash. Inviting all of you to come back to church. Where God sent His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. Yes. And numerous grace is talks about how today we sin, tomorrow we sin, and we continue to sin. Yet God continues to forgive us. Mm. And freedom grace talks. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Welcome to Destiny Feedback Fox Pops. Once again, my name is Abigail and I am joined by the rest of the team. Today we'll be talking about the service, how it went, what we took out from the Puritan. So stay tuned. Welcome you all. How's your week been? Good. 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 What about yours? Oh, it's been very well, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about today's service. Chantal, let me start with you. What did you take out of the message today? Um, from today's service, we we were learning about blessings of God, and if we um, a blessing is a favor or gift bestowed by man upon God, and God can bless us through many different channels in our life and through different people. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Melissa. What about you? Don't limit blessings to only money. Money is a part of a portion of blessing and it's, all, it's not all about money. If you don't have money, don't feel like you ain't blessed because you are. Yeah. Thank you. And lastly, Chelsea Ann? Um, here I have that blessing is favour and gifts bestowed on you by God. Mm. So that was like a key definition for what blessing is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So why do you think that um, when we say blessing, everybody thinks that it's about money. Why do you think people automatically think about money when we say that somebody is blessed? Because nowadays people be only thinking about money. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, can you give me another example of what um, the types of blessings there are, there are apart Life, from money? Mm. health, yeah. school, job. Yeah. So basically everything you have, yeah. you're supposed to be happy about it because God can bless you in so many different ways. Thank you all for that. As my team has said, today's message was about blessings of God. God. God can bless you in so many different ways. Sometimes when we say blessing, we automatically think about money. Oh, if you're blessed, you have a lot of money, you're rich. Let me come, yeah. feed, let me come to you and borrow some money, you know. Yeah. But today, Apostle has made us to understand that blessing is not just about money. You having your health is a blessing. You being able to go to work is a blessing. You having great health, great opportunities, yeah, you know, being study. with your family. He even mentioned the fact that COVID has destroyed so many things, but yeah. if you're still here and God is still with you, then that is like a blessing in yeah. itself. Mm. When he was about to end his message, he chipped in the topic of favor. Mm. And he made us to understand that there are certain places that you can't go until the favor of the Lord is with you. When we look at Esther, for example, Esther was not meant to be a part of those people that were standing to be as a queen. Yeah. But because God found favor in her and she was favored, she was able to sit at a place where she was not meant to be. And even despite all the plots that they had against her and her family, none of them um, succeeded because of the blessing and the favor of God upon her life. So it is our prayer that God will bless us in so many ways and also grant us favor in order for us to get into places that people will think we don't deserve it. But God will look at us and be like, my child, you go into places that's i'm gonna it. take you to a higher level you know mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. on period <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> may god continue to bless you and may his favor be upon you and your family let's have a look at today's message sometimes you are waiting your music shit on not just all money wow what you hey maybe we shall hundred thousand pound wouldn't it be when you cried my question maybe Okay, you know, say I. 
Be a mebusa will be a twenty thousand pounds. Is he asa kofaber akura? Be a one yere ni unibi. But I can tell you, say you are not broke. You are rich. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because your yeah, riches, ah, your blessing, riches, ne your eguahudu. What you are yamia shira, but men mo bi muwe abemfia abemfia kase yamia o shira ame. But me ane wo nimu shira. I say. Omo omo akuma mutiye, omo nse mufin, omo omo mfa omo akuma eni ehu hudiyeti, omo no omo kan kontumpos entam, omo no mbenye nyami nse mushira. Chene mi busa wa no pe yi se my teachings, my preaching is titled the blessing of God. Amen. What is the blessing of God? Everybody here want to be blessed. Who doesn't want to be blessed? Wa masore ne me boa. Aye. Everybody wants to be blessed. Despite some of us came just the purpose of supporting our sister in this, the Thanksgiving service of his father, no? we want to be blessed. Amen. As much as one must say purpose, we say, may Baha say, may call a destiny of a solid church international. And one more some say me ko ye bless. Ne mum botani say me ko jami niya bay na unyankoro ponti as a four four be far ne pape you know. Me de me home home ten ne chia tere ne say I stand with you you know. Say ye can say e uradi e inshira wa. Mo ane be kana nuatu mo hasi. Oh ma me ba kubina no deni. Or chere say me na me pese unyamu shira me face na debika ya wacha mo mo amakano. Uh, Everybody want to be blessed. Yes. Who want to be blessed? Mm. Yes. Mamin chira wa diwa ha. Blessing igu ahodo enkwa life a blessing. Corona bay ubi e wuko. Mzee Corona bay ubi e wuko. But what he ha? A blessing. A okay. blessing. Yesterday we were here doing. Uh, 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 worship night. It was so beautiful. Those of you who miss it, I tell you, you've made the greatest service of your life. It was so beautiful and so amazing to the fact that I dance ah, until a particular point, which I won't add to it. But those who were here knew it. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was so beautiful. And one of the things that we were rejoicing, or I personally was rejoicing, was just thanking God for the life of my mom because a year by now, last night and yesterday, you know, she was admitted in the hospital for some few days. Ah, the grace of God kept her alive mm. and kept her till now. Otherwise, we, we would be celebrating or doing Thanksgiving service for a year. That's right. And for her to survive out of what killed others, you know, a grace. Amen. So we needed to thank God for. Amen. Health, good health, a blessing. Amen. There are some of you who have never been to hospital for about a year or two. Some of you even three years or four years. You haven't been to hospital. A blessing. Amen. Some people. There are so many things ah, they are being prevented from eating. Many way, 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 just to make sure say, they, they keep healthy and they live long. Mm. Is that not so? That's yes. right. But there are some of us here. Be at the end, you know, 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 Apart from that, you know, everything we will eat, but there is no problem. That's right. A blessing. Amen. You sit in the car or in a bus. By God's special grace, bus into me, the who can be our bus stop. Tina, hello. Pachet is saying, Yami Adom, yeah, there are just watching the service, no one is saying. Oh, yeah, Papa Nankasano. Yanko Ponde and Sam Nashem, and naturally, it's like all them Pan Semno, Ashen, Ashen, my in the time of be a bit a or the assembly by my own. So I told a comma so whatever old drag and bonny which you cry, no private man. I didn't want an hour drink a beba for it's a new mamma. Oh, the Archer Nuko. 
wanje no she enkwa enkwa sema she no ma o di ache nko a wanje no she enkwa enkwa sema she no ma amen amen god bless you amen Oh, you don't look at me for. Eh, but China service no one is in concern, ma. Oh, Agba, I left so much so boy here. I left so much so boy here, but I'm not very far. I'm for four. Me who for four? I who Agba? Me who? Ta. Me who? Bo. Anya Agba. Anya Anya Agba. Apna Anya Chida. Bo. Anya Anya Apna De. Na. Uh, my Amen. Amen. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. When we get to the month of December, we hear so many things. We hear, oh my God, snow might be coming white snow. We hear Christmas. We hear the end of the year. A year. We hear reviews. We hear so many things. But our December is going to look different this year. Yeah. Because Christ is going to be the main focus. So today we will be talking about Christmas because we're almost in the month of December. Throughout the whole month of December we've been talking about Christmas. Mm -hmm. How did Christmas start? What is Christmas about? Who should celebrate Christmas? So many questions that we all want answers to. And that is why we will be seated on here to discuss those things. Now let me turn to my team and let's hear what they think about Christmas. Starting from you, Chantel. What do you know about Christmas? For me... Christmas is a time to enjoy relax, like uh, to, have <laughs> your, to have a nice time and to also remember why you're there, to spend time with your family and to remember the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm. Thank you for that. What about you, Melissa? Christmas is a time to celebrate the birth of Jesus yeah. and to spend time, a very good time with your family. Mm. If they live far away, you can invite them to your house yeah. and make a big party. Mm. What about you? Yeah, same as Chantel and Melissa, literally to remember the birth of Christ, mm. come with your family, friends, eat, enjoy music, and yeah. just gather in prayer and have a good time. Mm. Yeah, That's good. One thing that all of you have mentioned is coming together as a family and that, you know, we're celebrating the birth of Christ. Some people out there are arguing that you don't really know the birth of Christ, like when he was born. So yeah. why is it that you've chosen the 25th of December to be the day that you celebrate Christ? What do you have to say about that? I say that we chose like a day that is joyful to like use that day as a day to celebrate Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and we remember his birth through the Bible saying that he was born in a manger yeah. by his mother Mary. Mm -hmm. What about you Melissa? Same as Chantel actually. <laughs> <laughs> and Chelsea and anything else to add to that? Yeah so for me um, from what I am aware of there is no actual specific date that everybody knows that yeah. Christ was born on that day, especially it's not in the Bible, yeah. nobody knows. But I guess as just um, a community, as humans, mm. we've just decided to allocate the day of yeah. December to yeah. celebrate the yeah. birth of Christ. So, yeah. Yeah. Same here, that's my take on it as well. Like, Despite the fact that whether he was born on that 25th or he wasn't born on that 25th, we celebrate him because he has been born and mm -hmm. that's the main importance of it. Yeah. The fact that he was born to us, the son is given to us, you know, he will become our counsellor, our saviour and everything. That's what we're celebrating. We're celebrating the fact that he has been on this earth to save us, mm -hmm. which is why we're sitting here. It's like, for example, me not knowing my grandma's 
birthday and I've chosen a day to celebrate yeah. her because she's alive, she was yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that I know her actual birthday or not, I'm choosing a day to just, you know, celebrate and be like, Thank Grandma, you. I appreciate Thank you yeah. for giving birth to my mom, for my mom to give birth to me. <laughs> you know, yeah, the real reason is the fact that she is there yeah. and, and she needs to be celebrated. So we're celebrating Jesus Christ because he was born for us, a son was given to us to be our saviour. So now my next question is that, <clears throat> Why do you think that should do you think that Christians should only celebrate Christmas or can everybody celebrate Christmas? Mm, I think that everyone can celebrate it if you want it, whether you're a Christian or not. Mm. Personally, I feel like um anybody is like welcome to celebrate Christmas if you want to. It's really just a gathering to appreciate the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm. So you're welcome if you want to. Okay. So based on that, do you think that if somebody doesn't believe in Christ and they've chosen to celebrate Christmas, do you think it takes the meaning away from that Christmas? Because Christmas is Christ, you know, and then the mask comes. So if you don't believe in Christ and you're celebrating Christmas, you know, what is your take on that? Probably just like respecting those that do mm. it and like showing that oh yeah i appreciate and respect you yeah as well and i'm going to spend time with my family too mm, mm, okay that's fine um and also my other question is that how do we celebrate christmas on christmas day we've all mentioned that you come together with um your family you have fun gifts yes <laughs> the, the most important part of it <laughs> you come together with gifts so how do you um celebrate christmas for you personally Mm. Year and that they couldn't get, yeah. Or even my parents. Mm, yeah. What about you, Chantel? Um, personally, I am just there for the food. <laughs> 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 also, it's actually a great experience. Like when you deep it, that you're spending time with your family. Yeah. You're all gathering around uh, the dinner table, mm. and you're just living your best life. Yeah. What about you, Chelsea? Um, uh, yeah, same here as well. Um, morning has come to church, but the rest of the day just eating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really um, is eating. <laughs> Eating, music, watching stuff on TV, mm -hmm. and um, as Chantal even mentioned, that is when you think about it, it's actually nice to just be with your family yeah. outside yeah. of the whole yeah. craziness of every day. Yeah. 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 You know, everyone's just happy and joyful. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, I think it's a really good time for families to just come together. Yeah. You know, those that have even travelled, they can come back home. You know, yeah. all sit down at a table mm -hmm. and just have fun. You know get to catch up with people and stuff yeah. so it's a really important time um, for people to just be around your family and we do know that certain people might not have that um, so what is your encouragement for those that you know they might have lost somebody they don't have anybody to um, celebrate Christmas with them what are your encouragements that you give to those people um, I would say it's a great day to remember them as well and to appreciate the things that they did when they were alive and yeah mm. Melissa yeah, just um, yeah, see it as like a good way in a way in a, like what Chantel said. How yeah. I just remember them on that day, like yeah. turn it into a positive as yeah. opposed to like yeah. a negative. Yeah, yeah. remember them in your prayers. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Thank you all so much for your thoughts on it. As we mentioned, this whole month we were talking about Christmas. This is the first take on our views of Christmas. Who should celebrate Christmas? Um, why do we celebrate Christmas? We celebrate Christmas because Jesus Christ has been given to us um, and he's there to, he, he is our saviour and that's the reason why we celebrate Christmas. It's a time for people to come together, eat, enjoy and give gifts. Please remember me too. Um, <laughs> so it's just a really nice time for family to just gather around and have fun and to those people that might not have you know the Christmas that you wished for and um, we we will pray for you we'll keep you in our prayers and we do pray that God will also you know put a smile um, at your direction you know maybe you thought that this Christmas is going to be a bit different because you're not around family or you know things are not going the way that you wanted but we're praying that God will actually smile at you and give you hope in this Christmas and that you will also have fun during this Christmas please do join us throughout the whole month of December because we have more questions and more things to unpack. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel DACI TV and also Destiny Broadcasting Network. We'll be listening to the announcement very soon but before that let me ask Susie what are your thoughts on Christmas? Um, so Christmas is just basically celebrating our Saviour Jesus Christ who was born to come and die for us and so basically we're just celebrating our messiah mm. or our savior yeah. yeah and how do you like celebrate that um, so usually on christmas day we just come to church in the morning then we yeah. go home 
cook with our family and then sit together and just eat and celebrate this yeah. the birth of Christ. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Chanel? I feel like um, Christmas is a traditional holiday where we commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And um, in the early 20th century, it became like a secular religious holiday. Yeah, so with that, what do you mean by that? Like, it's more commercial now, Christmas. It's not like religious or traditional anymore. It's like so. Everyone can celebrate. I think that's what we're talking about earlier. And I asked the question, like, you know, it's become a holiday where everybody celebrates because it's at the end of the year. So it gives mm -hmm. us a reason to actually, mm -hmm. you know, have something to celebrate and, you know, come together with our family and stuff. So whether people believe in Christ or they don't, they still celebrate um, Christmas. But, you know, it's a good thing that we can all come together as a family and just have something to celebrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for that. So now we'll be listening to the announcements. So here are the announcements for our Christmas programs. Sunday the 12th of December 2021, we've got children Christmas performance. Also on Sunday the 12th of December, we have all services and pastors appreciation. We've also got a program coming up with Bishop of Safety 2 from Thursday the 16th of December to Sunday the 19th of December. DC, DACI Food Bank, Saturday the 18th of December 2021. And also, there's not going to be Thursday morning service on the 23rd of December. Friday the 24th, 2021, Prophetic Christmas Eve service, 7pm. Saturday the 25th of December, Christmas Day service, starting 10am to 12.30pm. Sunday the 26th of December, Final Prophetic Sunday service and a joint service at 11am. 11, 11 Last minute crossover miracle service, which is happening on, the, on Thursday the 30th of December, at 11 a.m. Friday the 31st December, final prophetic and crossover service, 8 p.m. to 12, 15 a.m. All wide victory service on Sunday, 2nd of January, 2022, joint service and first service of 2022 at 11 a.m. at Destiny Temple. Thank you for watching today's episode of Destiny Feedback Vox Pops. See you next time. Same time, same place. Jingle bell, jingle bell.